So here we have the new weather stripping for the rear portion of the hood, which I had no idea that it's for is the same for 63 through 1982, which is interesting. Anyway, this is the old stuff. And uh, as you can see, over the years, this thing gets, I think they shrink a little bit. It gets very tough. This one has some overspray and it's dirty and uh, it's even, you know, compressed. If you compare them side by side, this one is hard as a rock. Or this one is very pliable. So again, you can see the difference there. One has shrunk considerably. And besides that, it's been, you know, compressed and, and, and stuff like that. These things that also have a couple of flat sides to them. You can see that better here. And uh, that's what you want to use for staying them in place. Now, and you probably cannot see, let me back, back up a little bit. The, um, the weather stripping has, over the years, of course, gotten to the, the shape that follows the contour of the rear portion of the, of the hood. So to do this, you're gonna to have to first, let me, let me show you with this one here. You wanna get your new weather stripping out of the package. And what I like to do is to basically put the two ends together and fold it in half. The reason being is that you, you may want to actually make a little dot or something or at least know where the half point is. And what this does, it helps you with the installation. Again, don't forget that this thing has a, a couple flat edges, so you want to keep that in mind. And then you want to use the, the hood itself. Let me get closer here to determine, determine the, the center point. And for that, I'm gonna use this hole here where the uh, um, cable for the, for the latches kind of attaches here in the middle. So that being the center point, and again, with the weather stripping folded in half, this is the starting point that I like to use for installing the uh, the weather stripping. And again, using these two fl flat, there's 90 degree angle here. We're gonna start by using the, uh, the adhesive. Just put a dab there, and I use black adhesive because I think it's, it kind of blends a lot better if some of it kind of oozes out. And we're gonna first attach the middle point here. And from there, we're gonna work out and around the corners all the way to the end. And if we measure correctly, and there's no reason why we shouldn't, our center point is gonna allow us to have identical si uh, sides here. And it's gonna look even when you open the hood and you look at it, you both uh, ends are gonna be at the same distance, which is important. So that is the kind of preamble of this whole thing. The next step, what I want to do is again, start prepping this short area, double check the middle portion of the uh, weather stripping and start attaching, attaching it to the hood. All right. All right. So I remeasure this and uh, by folding it in half again, and this time I made a, a little line here on the side that is going to be kind of hidden and glued against the uh, the edge here 
and that I'm going to use as a reference for my middle point. And from there again, I'm just going to do a small section, get that started. And I'm using, like I mentioned, the uh, the black 3M weather strip uh, and gasket adhesive. So the trick here, I think, is to kind of just take your time. This stuff, by the way, it kind of sets pretty pretty fast, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, double checking your middle point, and of course, I have no adhesive here, so nothing to worry about. And you just want to make sure that you secure this area really well. I like to avoid using tape because I spray painted this and I don't want to risk lifting the tape and uh, leaving a huge uh, mark because some of the paint will probably come off. Um, it shouldn't, but I don't want to tempt fate, you know? Um, so let's do that. Uh, let's get that started and uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I have this, again, my uh, middle mark ready to go. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to use and apply this product here. Just little dabs. You don't want to have so much there that it's going to start squeezing out. This uh, product works, I would say, fairly fast. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I have a couple of beads there. Next, what I like to do is, um, because it's inevitable, you're going to have these strings of this stuff all over the place. I like to keep the the tube, the nozzle especially, kind of clean. So, again, little mark there for the middle. And we're going to push it into place, making sure that it's Laying flat, you don't need to overdo it with a pushing or anything. Just let it settle into place. And uh, let me back up a little bit here. Another tip is I keep the, the weather stripping kind of relaxed. So in, in other words, it's not fighting me as I try to lay it in place because that would work against me. So just keep kind of gently pushing in there, making sure that this, um, that the, the rubber piece is just fully seated. And again, if you want to use tape, that's your, your call. And uh, then, if you separate a little bit, you'll see some of the material kind of become a little stringy. That's okay, because once you reposition it, it'll, it'll stay in place. And again, what I'd like to do here is continue another piece about five or six inches. You can do the whole thing if you want. I, I like to work in, you know, smaller stages. It gives me more control, I think. And again, you know, remember that this only is going to only cover so much, so don't put glue where you don't actually need it. This stuff flows out of the tube pretty, pretty readily, so you don't really have to work very hard.
to keep it clean, so it makes it a lot easier. You will have a couple of spots like I did right here for some of the product. This is it's gonna happen. And it's not a big deal. It'll it'll dry and it'll be fine. But uh, you can always try to carefully with uh, some kind of a knife or even the paper towel try to get it out of there. But uh, sometimes it, it can make more of a mess than anything else. So you can just leave it alone if that's okay with you. Keep pressing the, um, the weather stripping and uh, just holding it in place. And let the uh, adhesive do its, its thing. Okay, so what I did here, this portion, I went past the five or six inches because we have this corner to turn here. So I did go around the corner a little bit, about an inch down from, from the very edge here. And again, you're gonna have to play it by ear. And the reason being is because you want this to, um, to get attached properly. And situate this camera that would be great again you have a, a little bit of time to work with this so you don't have to be rushing or anything there's one thing is too difficult with this product if you if you let it do its thing and again just keep pressing make sure you go over the the whole thing because you want it to attach nicely keeping it flat, those two flat faces. You want those to be um, to be right there at the, at the corner edge. This is a little tricky here, but again, it's not a huge deal. And uh, you're just gonna have to pay special, special attention to it because, because of the shape here, it'll, tend to lift. So just take your time and it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna, you know, because again, we have a, a pretty sharp turn here. So don't worry about it. I mean, this eventually is gonna settle once you, once this is completely cured and you install the hood and then you close it, um, it'll, it'll get, you know, kind of get its own kind of shape. Um, that's, that's the way it works. So, but again, this is pliable enough and it's brand new material. So you shouldn't have any, any trouble with it. It'll just conform to whatever shape it needs to. Again, just keep pressing down so it's so the adhesive has a chance to really grab onto this thing and uh, and hold it tight against the uh, against the hood. Also. Even though I haven't applied any adhesive here yet, one thing that I think is a good idea is to grab your, I'm using a silver marker, 
use a sharpie or even a, a, just a pencil will will do. You want to position the weather stripping as flat as you can all the way to the end here. And very carefully, you don't have to make a huge line, just put a little, little mark, a little line where this thing is gonna roughly end. If my marker was working, that would be even, even better. There we go. That way, you will have a point of reference I don't know if you can see it or not. So you know when, when to stop applying glue here. Because if you go past, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but you want it to look nice. So as you can see, this is still kind of the process here of, of getting kind of properly attached, you can almost hear it, but this stuff work, works really well and fairly fast. And one, one more time, I, you have the option of using a, a small piece of masking tape if you wanna help keep this in place. I just kind of wing it and it works, works fine for me. Of course, I still have this side to, to do. But, uh, heck, I've been at this for about, what, 20 minutes? That's about it. So it doesn't take super long. So I wanted to show you there's better, better light here. I applied this, the, uh, the bead of adhesive for this side. And I stopped right there. The uh, weather stripping is going to run probably to about here. So I didn't want to have to contend with this corner. This side staying in place very nicely. And again, by marking the, uh, the very end, you barely see a tiny little bit of squeeze out there, which is okay. I mean, it's going to happen. Once you lay your, your bead of, of adhesive, just let it kind of, let it get tacky for a minute or two. And um, most of this will be covered by the, uh, the weather stripping. If not, once this dries, it's, you sometimes you may find even little strings of the stuff because uh, it's a, you know, nature of the product. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. And next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start attaching this portion of the weather stripping. So what I think I'm gonna do next, while well, this is still curing, start removing this. Look under there, make sure that everything is nice, feels good. Maybe just some leftover glue from the masking tape. Not a big deal. Okay, so. My weather stripping is attached. It's looking pretty good. And I also went ahead and attached the, uh, the grill here. And the only thing that I had to improvise is those speed nuts that I had um, picked and uh, I painted black, they just wouldn't, um, they just, they were like 
too deep or something. Something happened there where um, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. So I had to get these to um, these actually did the job pretty well. So so that is done. And uh, yeah, they're a little more visible than black uh, nuts and washers, but so what? It's not the end of the world. And uh, this again, the weather stripping is looking really, really good. So there you have it. That's the um, that's the whole process for installing the weather stripping. And again, just keep in mind to keep that those two flat areas, the 90 degree angle there against the, um, the edge and you'll be okay. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be areas where it looks a little bit kind of off, but once this gets, you know, installed and uh, compressed by the, uh, by this area and the sides here, I mean, it's, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be fine. There's not gonna be any, any issues. So that is done. Next, what I have to do is, well, before I install the um, the uh, what's my call it? God, I hate that. I forget. <laughs> you know the um, things. God, um, I'm gonna wait until I get the um, the liner and get that one installed. And then I'm gonna put the, the latch, but see, I remember now, the, the hood latches um, on. So it's um, coming along very nicely. Very pleased with it so far. Alrighty, so that's the latest update. Stay tuned for more.